Hey guys, Silence here. here. Welcome to a long time coming Utame Cross tutorial video. We haven't done a tutorial video in a long time because, well, I'm always busy with my full time job, barely having enough time for myself, and of course, there's always the other YouTube videos that I have to do. So, yeah, anyway, guys, finally. Dana has rolled out a brand new update for Wuta Macross, so it's version 3.3.0. So let's talk about all the brand new implementations and how they can actually help you out. Alright, so first thing first, let's talk about the background of the main page. As you can tell here, I have Ranka dressed up in her crossover live key art one costume with the illustration of the episode played in the background itself so if you guys didn't know how to change the background illustration in the past here we go again so you type this blue button in the top left hand corner and this will bring you to that option to change your background by choosing an episode plate that you currently have within your collection so let's say for example I'm gonna choose a seven star episode plate that belongs to Freya as a brand new background. In the past, you can only use its fully evolved illustration um, to choose as the background for your home page. So, but this new implementation basically lets you choose the pre-evolved image as well of the episode plate because sometimes the pre-evolved image actually looks a lot cuter um, in design as compared to the fully evolved one. So. Yeah, definitely a very good addition to this brand new update. Loving that they have added this to give players a choice of variety um, from within their own collections of episode plates. They have, they have, you know, painstakingly tossed their money into collecting over the years. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. The other important thing that has been changed is basically this icon that was previously the Uta Maku Pass. So I have gone ahead and approved and you know upgraded my um, subscription to the special pass. As you can tell, it says here special pass now. It doesn't show Utamaku pass um, that was previously linked to the game. So what has been implemented? Well, I will show you guys here on the screen. Um, I actually did a previous recording of. Um, this tutorial video and then apparently I could implement the change straight away just by paying um, the subscription fee so apparently in the past the Utamaku pass cost 1200 yen to subscribe every month basically you get all the rewards you can see here um, where you get you know materials um, for you know, episode plates. Then of course there is this crystal that you can actually use um, for the special daily resource event songs. Uh, if you run out of the three play per day, you could use these live ethers to actually restore another three more plays. You know to give it a go once again if you're still trying to unlock or rather to obtain the singing stone rewards at the end of it by getting a full combo on that difficulty of that song. So yeah, then of course there is this old tickets which is the Choginga Gacha ticket which is your Super Galaxy or Super Dimension tickets um, which you can use in your Gacha's uh, page. So if you guys aren't familiar with it, it's basically this thing where you can actually make use of to gain more episode plates from within the Gacha um, to you know boost the costume points that you are lacking for a certain costume and of course to refresh your gacha luck at the end of the day because you know Dana programs the game in a way that you know once you've gotten a good pool um, you need to require a certain amount of episode plates to appear before you get another good round of pools you know that kind of thing it's it's just basically their marketing strategy to make you spend more money so you know if you're a subscription user of the utamaku pass and you'll be getting the tickets regularly you can make use of this to try to refresh your terrible luck and then of course eventually hopefully get something good like maybe ranka's brand new seven star episode play who knows so aside from that utamaku pass yes even though it's um 
1,200 yen in the past and now the special pass costs about 1,500 yen per month. Uh, slightly more expensive by 300 yen but you know it's still a good deal mainly because they have improved the rewards that comes with this pass um, and of course you know like in the past the pass only gave you a 1.2 multiplier for your um, diva proficiencies you know every time you finish a life then of course you gain um, points to improve your diva proficiency levels uh, yeah so 1.2 percent in the past for utamaku pass and special pass right now gives you a 1.5 which is pretty good and of course that special valkyrie operation mission at uh, the start of the day when you know, the, the game refreshes you know that is still there but i think the rewards for that mission will probably be better uh, in the long run so i have not done that mission so far with this brand new special pass in place so that probably might happen tomorrow and maybe i can give you guys a better update on it all right so aside from that the rewards you know are gonna be better because you're gonna get two times the amount um and of course i think the usual amount of items are also there as well so two times the amount plus there is also the special new ticket that is going to be implemented so fantastic fantastic stuff so the i guess they're gonna change things up with the yeah, gachas you know with the tickets being given to you right now they are gonna be different if you subscribe to the special pass um hopefully this gacha implements the six stars or seven star episode plates into them because currently the super galaxy gachas are only capable of attaining five star episode plates so hopefully this will entice players to subscribe to the special pass in the future if they do add in the six star seven star episode plates into the gacha maybe with uh, the same terrible luck chance as a regular gacha pool who knows it still will be a lot more enticing um, you know to get players to subscribe to the special pass in the long run aside from that the other thing that is pretty fantastic is that they're gonna add in the skip tickets um, to be given to special pass holders uh, because aside from the nine copies that you can get daily you are going to get extra amounts from the special pass subscription so that's pretty fantastic so for subscribers of the special pass you can laze your day through by skipping your lives which is very important if you want to retain your stable mindset for work at the same time playing you know your mobile games because you're gonna spend a lot of energy and brain power to you know stay sane throughout the day just by you know playing through extreme difficulty very hard difficulty whichever difficulty that is the hardest for you to um, sustain your regular rankings throughout the events itself so that's pretty important so anyway guys think about it think about it hard whether you want to subscribe for the special pass uh, or change for your subscription from the Utamaku pass to the special one because 300 yen difference is quite a big jump uh, in the long run it's gonna be a lot of money eventually and you know if you're going to drop out from the game sometime soon you might want to reconsider you know actually subscribing to it for me I'm a Macross fan I'm gonna play this game constantly I have to make YouTube videos so definitely I'm gonna be subscribing to this pass nonetheless all right so moving along let's talk about the other implementations for this version 3.3.0 all right guys I'm here from the future after recording the initial video so if you guys have subscribed and changed your subscription of the Utamaku pass to the special pass yes you're supposed to get a brand new Valkyrie operation daily uh, that's under the special pass condition so under the VOP section right now 
Apparently, after you have changed your subscription, the mission comes live straight away. I didn't know until I've re done my recording initially. So here I have the mission, and of course, I'll leave an image here. The initial time needed to clear the mission is an hour long so now we are going to clear the mission to see what kind of rewards um, this particular mission will give and see if it's any better compared to the Utamaku um, version so here we go we didn't get a great success on it but that's fine so we got money we got some decent materials and of course We've got a large uh, cross stone, so it seems pretty similar to the standard Utamaku Pass VOP. I mean, if you do get great success, there's a chance you might get a Kyawawa doll um, instead of the cash. So I don't know. It's it seems pretty much the same so far in terms of the VOP, but that's okay. Um, aside from this, there's something else that I need to talk about that I didn't mention in my initial video so here we go we're gonna go into the item section so let's tap this and we're gonna look at the skip tickets so as you can tell I have 21 skip tickets on hand but if you actually scroll down there is another kind of skip ticket present hmm so <laughs> Um, I guess these were given straight after the subscription of the special pass and I didn't get any item notification um, from the game so maybe I did but I just didn't recall if I did I probably might leave an image here somewhere if I did <laughs> but if I didn't then I guess I didn't get a notification but if I did whoops I guess it just slipped my mind so as you can tell these skip tickets have an expiration date therefore you see this pink line over here and of course they will line up like um these the tickets expiring in order like how many quantities there are so these six tickets are going to expire on the 27th of of september that's a pretty long way <laughs> So I don't know how many of these you can actually hold on hand since the special pass is going to issue you out skip tickets, you know, um, daily. So the ones that you get normally per day, they're going to clutter up. So you really, really want to try and use up these temporary skip tickets first, you know, so you, you can actually make use of the ones that you have that you know have a limitation on quantity you only can hold 30 of the regular ones um, if you get any more than that they're just gonna disappear fade away you know because they don't bring over to the ones with the expiration dates so that's kind of a bummer so yes um, even though the special pass gives you more special tickets I mean, not special tickets, it's skip tickets, sorry. Uh, uh, it does help because it lets you, you know, like, um, skip lives, especially for the current event where you need to collect tickets to play the event songs. So you can actually go into the live section and, of course, um, you know, use this ticket uh, as much as you can within the day itself, hopefully. My talking doesn't get me copyright strike. I totally forget the song will play when I go into the live. So, yeah, um, use as many skip tickets as you can, especially those with the expiration dates, because you definitely want to be able to use the regular skip tickets that you have, um, you know, stored up, because you know you're still gonna get nine copies per day. So you don't want to let them go to waste just because you have like the max quantity of 13 skip tickets on hand already um, by the end of the day, you know, so yes, just do what you can, use as many as you can, make use of it to gain a better ranking, you know, and all the best. So I return you guys to my past self explaining the rest of what is implemented in version 3.3.0. Alright, so let's say for example here, 
Uh, we have the daily rewards. So if you've cleared them, you know, you can, in the past, individually claim the rewards. But now this brand new button has been added, which lets you claim them all with just a click of a button, which is fantastic. They should have done this long ago, <laughs> but you know, better late than never. <laughs> so guys, yes, you can do this for your event missions as well. The button is here as well. So yeah, but you know, you just got to be careful with the skip tickets because if you have maxed out on your skip tickets and you claim the skip tickets, you're gonna burn these skip tickets away, so definitely pay attention to um, the daily rewards when you are claiming the skip tickets. Don't want to waste them away. So yeah, all right. So aside from this, um, the other button that we're gonna talk about is basically the episode plate upgrading button. So I'm doing this video after my gacha video, as you can tell. I have like all the episode plates that have yet to be power up. Um, especially for Freya's six star, no seven star. I have I have her plate here, seven star. So yeah, she has a secret board unlocked because I just got an extra copy of it. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, I mean, it's a good thing, but sad because it's not Ranka's plate. So yeah, as you can tell, the buttons here on the top right hand corner have been added in. Apparently, it doesn't work. With the secret board, so yes, secret board, you still have to manually um, improve the episode plate yourself. So that's kind of a bummer. Alright, here we go. Alright, so I'm just going to show you an example of an episode plate um, that is brand new, that I've gotten. Alright, so what do these buttons do? So let me explain what they actually do. So. Um, the rightmost pink button is basically to power up the plate entirely. That includes the special skills um, attached to the episode plate. Now, if you're running low on resources like the very rare materials here, um, let's say for example these ones, yeah, as you can tell, the last rarest item, which is the large versions of these uh, resources, they are very hard to come by, especially for the yellow ones and the pink ones, those are a bit more rarer. Um, now, if you really don't want to end up spending resources on, you know, um, skills that you eventually won't use because these are low rarity episode plates, you will never equip them to your divas unless they are you know tagged to bonus percentage for events you definitely won't want to power up the episode plate is that a motorbike passing by me <laughs> i apologize for the background noise but you know uh, it's, it's it's a lively neighborhood okay so yes so if you don't want to end up using those resources um what i recommend you to do is click the center button which is basically to you know claim all the episode points or rather the costume points that is linked to this episode plate so here we go we're gonna i'm just going to show you an example so it will just claim only the costume points there you go so that's pretty pretty nifty um then of course if you've got the spare resources to claim the rest you can do so um the left most pink button is basically your status. This basically is all your you know skills attached to the episode plate. And of course the stats on the episode plate that is like soul, life, and charm and voice. If you press the pink button, it will power up everything else except the costume points. So that really doesn't make any sense to me because the costume points are actually the most important thing to an episode plate uh, of a lower tier aside from the 5 star, 6 star, 7 star episode plates where everything else is just important because they are powerful plates. Now, they should have you know, designed an additional pink button where they just power up all the status uh, not notes and leave out the skills. You know, that would have been a lot more handy um, but you know to each their own so um, okay so with that said I have a seven a six star episode plate um, from the gacha video that I just did you know 
yes, Maki Kina's plate really got a full evolution out of this one. So since it is a pretty useful plate and it comes with a special note attached to it, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to fully power up this plate. As you can tell, it comes with a score plate um, and, it, and it's for a short duration song. So that's pretty okay. It's, it's going to be good for future high score achievement purposes. So I'm going to really touch the rightmost pink button to fully power up this episode plate. As you can tell here, I'm running low on the large resource for the star series. So that's kind of a bummer. But you know, what needs to be done needs to be done. Right here we go. Hey, we got an episode of large size from it. That's pretty fantastic. Good for unlocking costumes later on. Now, you know, as you can tell straight away, it's a pretty old plate, so the total score is pretty pathetic on it. But you know, I don't really have any other better plates with a special note attached to it. Uh, that more so one that helps improve high score. So, you know, I just have to do it eventually. Alright, so I only wish I only wish that the um, secret board had the option of claiming all <laughs> as well. I just wish they had done it. But anyway guys, that's the implementation for the episode plate portion. Now there's one other thing that is added um, to this version update, but it isn't really important to know about it but I'll just mention it just because it is there so under the menu option you know normally whenever you start up the game or whenever Dana has thrown in something new um, a notification will tell you to restart the game to download brand new content now in the past um, this isn't exactly um, a thing that you could do where you can manually download any kind of data that requires you to play the game. So here you go under the menu and of course this tiny little grey button here under the settings button. Okay, so basically it lets you manually download or manually delete um, you know, data from Utama Cross to save space, I guess. Um, but of course, they will in, in notify you that it's best to do it with a Wi-Fi connection. So you can tap it here if you want to download all the basic data that is required to play the game. So you can see the game is now trying to see what I need um, to download that kind of stuff. And you know, yeah, after that, notify you how many megabytes worth of data is actually going to be downloaded, that, that kind of thing. So yes, this is now a thing within this version 3.3.0 update. As you can tell here, I have well 21.7 megabyte worth of data that I could probably download and you know imp improve my gameplay. I guess maybe because of the dancing animations of the divas, or maybe because there's some kind of brand new song note map. I don't know. So. Yes, manual download of data is now a thing you can do for Uta Macross. Not that it's important, you know, but if you just happen to have spare time at home and with a Wi-Fi connection, then you feel that, you know, your, your phone memory has a decent amount of space to help you improve your gameplay for Uta Macross. Why not do so manually, you know, other than that? You can always go the lazy road <laughs> just let the game update it whenever something new is implemented itself. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it about Ultra Macross version 3.3.0. Well guys, what do you think about this update? I think it's definitely handy, you know, especially with the claim all buttons um, for the episode play upgrading and of course for the rewards claiming. Those are definitely the main two highlights of the improvements uh, aside from the special pass. You know, I'm looking forward to see what this brand new ticket um, that comes with the special pass is going to do uh, for the subscribers in the future. And yeah, um, aside from that, you know, Dana has mentioned that they're going to improve or make it harder actually for the last event of the month, which is basically the high score versus event. 
Uh, if you guys didn't follow me on my YouTube Facebook page, links in the description as always. Make sure you hit like to my page to uh, keep updated with all the Utah Macross news. Yes, Dana has stated uh, in a Twitter update that they're going to change things up for the last event of the month, which is the High Score Challenge event. They're going to make the rewards a lot more attractive. At the same time, they're going to make you work harder by making you play a lot more for the rewards. Uh, so I don't know if it's a good thing <laughs> or a bad thing. Let's let's see how the rewards are and decide for ourselves later on. Uh, I just hope it's just leading towards a good thing. Just like how this brand new special pass is replacing the Utah pass. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comments down below what you think about all the updates for version 3.3.0. Like this video if you appreciate all the translated content as usual and subscribe for more content just like this in the future and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!